Hi there traders and this is FX Explain again and this is going to be another Master Academy with Steve Miley. And in today's Master Academy we're going to be taking a look at different types of asset classes. What are the different types of asset classes? How do they differentiate from each other? So what are these different types of asset classes? Well, these are the things we can trade, the things that we can invest in, how we go about profiting. And we have to decide what asset classes we may be wanting to be involved with, what, which ones we want to trade. And that will just come from time, through trial and error, and maybe a different asset classes that we maybe have an affinity for, that we have more of a liking for and a better understanding of. So what are these different asset classes that we can trade? Well, there are stocks and shares, which also come under those equities and also equity indices coming under that banner. We have bonds which can be government bonds or corporate bonds, commodities and then there are the foreign exchange and currency markets. We're going to start off with talking about stocks. Stocks, shares, equities and then there are equity indices. Stocks, shares and equities all names for different ways we can own a company. The main thing here we're talking about is ownership. So when we're talking about stock shares and equities we're talking about ownership of that company having a share in a company that will give us voting rights in that company and also entitlement to a dividend so we can turn and earn an income from a share in that company alongside potential capital gain if the price of that company goes up so for an example different types of companies we could buy stocks in could be bp british petroleum facebook or alphabet google's parent company so here's a chart of Alphabet, Google, and you can see here the stock price rallying through much of 2019. So if you've been long, if you bought Google through here, you would be happy and probably making a profit. But then a significant move back lower we've seen in Google as we've moved through late April into May 2019. And here we have an example of an equity index, the S&P 500. These are the 500 stocks, largest stocks on the US stock market. This is an index or an average. So it gives you an idea of the approximately how the whole stock market in this in this country, in this case, the United States is doing. We're going to talk on, move on now and talk about bonds, bonds, government and corporate bonds. Bonds are actually debts or loan. They're the credit markets. And what this is, is then the individual trader investor is actually what they're doing is loaning money to the, um, the, the borrower and the borrower being usually a government or a corporate. So these are seen as more stable, particularly government bonds, because they are backed by a government. They have a reduced risk compared to equity markets or stocks. And you also get a fixed return. These are also called credit or fixed income markets. You get a fixed return on your investment, which is called the coupon. Alongside stock shares and government bonds, we also have commodity markets. What are commodities? Well, they are real things that we actually use in the economy to produce goods. These would include base metals, copper, aluminium, lead, zinc, nickel. They would include precious metals, including gold, silver, and also we have platinum. So here's an example of a commodity. Here's the price of gold. Been very strong in here, 2018 into early 2019, and less strong weakening in here as we've gone through 2019. Elsewhere we, in the commodity sector we also had the whole energy sector that will include oil and gas and here we have a, um, a chart showing us the strong rally we had um, in WTI crude oil from late 2018 early 2019 through to April 2019 and then a sell-off more recently as we've gone into May of 2019. Another area in the commodity sector would also be the agricultural commodities, including coffee, sugar, wheat. Finally, we're going to talk a little bit about foreign exchange, which is kind of a kind of a separate asset class because it's a relative. Okay? What I mean by relative is it's trading one thing relative to another. It's an exchange exactly as it says, foreign exchange. Foreign exchange markets are also called Forex, FX or the currency markets. And these would include the major currencies, such as the euro versus the dollar, the dollar versus the yen, pound versus dollar, dollar versus Swiss franc, Australian, New Zealand and Canadian dollars, all versus the US dollar. But we also have emerging markets, including the dollar versus the Chinese yuan, the dollar versus the Brazilian real, and the dollar versus the Indian rupee. 
And here we have an example of a foreign exchange market, the euro versus the dollar, which has been in a choppy downward range in here throughout 2019. So in today's FX Explain Master Academy, we'll be taking a look at asset classes with Steve Miley. Don't forget us to join us again on our next Master Academy on fxexplain.co.uk. If you have any questions about this article or this video, please leave a comment below and I'll come back to you.